beats us to the punch. Congrats, Tom. What a spectacular performance here in your bare knuckle debut. How happy are you with your performance? Oh, man, I'm absolutely. I'm over the moon. There's no words to describe how I'm feeling right now. Like I said, I said to the other pet, says, if you could bottle up what I'm feeling right now and sell it, you'd be a millionaire. There's no feeling like this. So it was a left hook around 30 seconds into the first round. Did you see the opening? How did that shot come together? Yeah, it was a bit like. We were both a bit edgy to start off with. Then. I threw, I threw a couple of feints, and he's, he, as he's gone to come in, I've just closed it with a left hook and he's fell right onto it. And that was all she wrote, really. So your opponent had a lot of experience on you, right? How did you overcome that gap in experience, and uh, how did you get him right away? I mean, he's got experience, but in a lot of different backgrounds, whereas I am just boxing. I've got a boxing background. So I, I know I can box, so I knew what I had to do tonight. And I just stuck to the game, but it's paid off quicker than I expected. Your opponent is obviously extremely tall, right? So was your game plan also to close the distance and overcome that, you know, disadvantage in height and reach? The game plan was work the body and the head, work the body, then obviously we see which one come first. But like I says, I, did, I didn't get a chance to, to get to the game plan. It was that over that quick. He just walked right onto it, and that was all she wrote. Like she went, good night. You have a big boxing background, so now after being in there, in the Trigon, what's the biggest difference between boxing and bare knuckle? Well, the first difference is that ring, it's tiny. There's not much room to move in there whatsoever, which, are, which is good, because you can't box. Look, you've, you've, got, you've got to fight, basically. You, there's no room to move. So this was a huge, huge exposure for you, basically, right? Being out here, Police Gazette International Cup, uh, England versus the US. Now it's 1-1. One, one. How does that feel to tie the game, basically? Oh, I'm just hoping everyone follows my lead. Now for the UK, and keeps knocking them out. Looks like they'll come out wearing all the colours today. I've, hopefully I've done the country proud. Usually combat sports is a very lonely sport. You fight just for yourself, but in this case, it's like a team sport as well, right? Does it kind of feel different? Yeah, yeah. Look, look. Says boxing is a lonely sport, but we compete together as a team. Hopefully, and get that victory over USA. How does it feel connecting with bare knuckles compared to boxing gloves? To be honest, I've only connected with one, so I couldn't really tell you. But um, I'm no stranger to throwing my hands. But um, I, I, look, says. I ain't been in there long enough to tire, but look, from that one punch, I didn't feel anything, no damage, nothing on my knuckles. So I'm good to go again. How did you treat training camp? Like a regular boxing camp, or did you do anything differently? Oh, exactly the same as boxing. I've, I've just carried on my boxing training as you would. Same trainers, lots of sparring, lots of running. Yeah, that's it, really. Now you got a medallion with John L. Sullivan around your neck. How does that feel right now to be part of this history right now? The Police Cassette International Cup. Now you're also in the history books. Yeah, I'm, I'm just over the moon. I'm still a bit speechless at the moment. I just want to get back, get changed and celebrate with everyone. That's fun. We're going to see you back in bare knuckle right now. Do you like the game? Oh, I love it. You'll definitely see me back soon. Either for BKB, BYB, whoever, I'm ready. What's your biggest strength as a fighter? I say my fitness. I've got an engine. No one trains like me. I'm always training. Yeah, I'm just putting the work in the gym. I'm not, I make sure I'm fit for every fight. I always make way. I'm a true professional. You want to call out anybody? Um, I was meant to fight Nick Hawkins before this. Then he's pulled out. But if Nick wants to get on in America, England, I'm happy to take it. Take it. Any sponsors or family you want to thank? Um, just all, everyone that's travelled down really, I just want to thank everyone who's brought a tiki. Like, without them it wouldn't be possible. I'm Tom Stokes with Bare Knuckle News and no one beats us to the punch.